Love is time. Once again, for another exclusive girl chat <laughs> segment, because for you, we do it just for you guys. We're not done chatting yet. No. Nope. It's one thing to twerk at the club, but what about the playground? Mm. In the age of smartphones, <laughs> there seems to be a growing trend of kids listening to explicit music at a younger and younger age, which is causing some parents concern. When asked by the site Today's Parents if they let their kids listen to explicit music, one parent said she doesn't because it's not right seeing your young child gyrate while singing, girl, look at that body. <laughs> On the other hand, some parents don't care, and they say that they're just happy their child is listening to music at all. The, so, ladies, what? do you think... <laughs> That's because nice. there's a shortage in music. music. <laughs> do you think, ladies, ladies, what? do you think kids should be able to listen to Cardi B <sighs> while on the bus? No. no. I told no. you guys, I'm going to be the corniest parent of all time. My kids is listening to praise and worship all day, every day. <laughs> uh, and let me tell you why. Because it's the way I was raised. Yep, so was I. And, and, and now that I'm older, I listen to a little bit of everything. Even the songs that let's say, do have explicit words, you can play the edited versions of those songs. Yeah, the clean. Yeah, yeah play well, the you clean know version of it. And, and I, I know this sounds weird, but I just want, I find, you know how they say when you plant seeds in your children, you will see them later on in their life? Yeah. I now, at 35 years old, am seeing the seeds that my mother and my grandmother planted in me. I'm seeing them today. There are moments when my mind goes on autopilot, and I want to know what is the song that goes to your mind when you're on autopilot. I'd rather it be a song of positivity, something and that praise. brings them be like. Did your mom call negative. it? Did your mom call it secular music? Of course. Yeah. Wor worldly. She was like, uh -uh, worldly music. Worldly. Don't worldly music. Now. Worldly music. Hundred percent. I was like you. We couldn't Yo. listen to worldly music until yeah. we were like actually eleven or twelve. But. What's really cool for kids now, yeah. there's actually this station called Kids Bop. Love Kids Bop. On Pandora. Bop. And they play the current hit trendy songs. Kids are singing it without the crazy do they, lyrics. Do they, they play positive. Tatiana? No, no, Genie. They'll do like that kind of song, but it'd be like, bust down in the playground. Yeah. Or like, Different. Yeah, it's really cool. Bust down in the playground. <laughs> I don't know. They, they change the words. They got, change it. They change it up. No, okay, I hear what you guys and I, I like learning that yeah. how you grew up with faith-based parents, because yeah. I didn't have that. Yeah. And my parents raised me with so much Vietnamese music. Obviously, that's not something I'm gonna, you know, grow towards because I, I had a little bit of sauce in my spirit, so I yeah. needed something else. So honestly. And I'm not saying I would do this as a parent, but I also am a big hypocrite. I grew up with two live crew and a little bit of two short, and I came out just fine. Okay, but do I you really love it? But I loved it. But would I you let your kids it. listen to that? No. So I Why? know. Why? That's here, the okay, question. so here's the difference. Okay. When I grew up listening to those songs, obviously, I only knew that the words were bad because my parents didn't want to have those type of words around me. So I like having that differenti differentiation. I think that if a parent raises their kids being able to have cuss words or be able to comfortably mm -hmm. listen to it, you won't learn the filter yeah. that you would need to have later on when you're in the workplace or when you're yeah, in a Aiden setting. already knows. If he hears a bad word in a song, he's like, ooh, that's a bad word. See? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, don't you say that. Yeah, <laughs> but you're also lucky you had parent, like, you understand English. Like, if I was, I was like, if I was singing, oh, me so horny, uh, uh, my mom, oh, hell she'd be no. like, you hungry, they have no. pork in the fridge. No. Right there, and I'm like, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> so I got away with everything. I got away with Yeah, the they didn't really know what yeah. you were listening to. But uh, like you, when yeah. you see the seeds of it, I like that you see the seeds of, like, listening to praise and worship. Like, I like the seeds of my ratchicity inside of me, because that's like, that's inside of me, and I know where it's appropriate. Obviously, on yeah, YouTube, that's the key. You can, uh, yeah, because you know honestly, where it's yeah. appropriate. the kids are gonna listen to that stuff regardless. <laughs> Let's not be ignorant. Right. Auntie Lonnie knows right. the kids when they go to school, they're gonna have enough of a dose of yeah. that other you don't stuff want that your I want to get them balanced. And all oh, me so horny, following oh. you. No, <laughs> no. I they mean, will go I, to the principal's office. Exactly. They'll yeah, get that kind of music. They'll get the ratchet lifestyle at school, and when they're home, they'll get something else. Yes. So I'd like to give them balance. Yeah. All right, balance. And a little bit of culture. Sure. Yes. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but don't forget to subscribe to The Reel's YouTube page to stay up to date mm -hmm. on our exclusive content. Also, make sure to comment and let us know what you want to talk about. And finally, make sure to watch The Reel every day. Till next time. Yes. Yes. That's what